Michael, he hadn't said anything to any of his team. Then all of a sudden he just put his head down and he turned around to them and said, You guys cook like old people fuck. And I thought, my God, uh, that came out of the blue. You know, I wouldn't expect something like that to come out of his mouth. Yes, chef. <laughs> Thank you, chef. However, he started understanding how he has to put energy into his team. Where's the scrambled egg? OK. Hey, guys, guys, come here. All of you, come here, quick. Hurry up. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Whoa, get out of the way. Taste it. Taste it. Taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it. Not an ounce of seasoning. What are you? For doing it again. Don't argue with Chef. Don't talk back to Chef. He says something, you say yes, Chef, and move on. That's it. Say that again. Hey, say that again. No, say, say yes, say, Chef. Say no. Don't spit fucking scrub with in my face. Say that again. Say that again. Yes, Slow. Chef. There's not an ounce of fucking seasoning in there. These guys save lives for a living. Yeah, and you're about to fuck up their breakfast. Got it? Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is like, oh my god! There's no salt, there's no pepper. And I'm like, what the? Go ahead, go ahead, go, go! I thought I seasoned it, Chef, correctly, but no, obviously I didn't. Why is he cooking scrambled egg when he can't even season it? I try to make some sense out of this intense chaos. I gotta cool off somehow. I tried to clear my head by sticking my head in the refrigerator. But I couldn't. Rush, move your fat fucking ass! It's two to one, OK? What is it? It's a uh, Mardi Gras gumbo. Oh, God. Does it normally look like a plate of liquid shit? No. Every time I make my gumbo, it always gets eaten, and everybody loves it. Mm. It's going to be good. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> fucking hell. Are you crazy? Have you tasted that? No, I didn't get a chance to taste it, Chef. <coughs> so you cooked it and you didn't even taste it? I didn't have enough time. I'm so sorry you don't like it. Don't like it? I'm sorry it wasn't up to par. Up to par? It's unedible. OK, then throw it out. No, I'm not going to throw it out. Big man. Yes, sir. You like your food. Take a mouthful. Pass it along. It was completely repulsive. I would have rather had a cat shit in my mouth than have eaten that any further. Oh, shit. Oh, my god. I don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> Vinny, what was that tasting of? A big bowl of mud. Natasha. OK. What is that? What I have here is a grilled hickory rub watermelon. Seriously? You had 45 minutes to make me anything, and you grill me a slice of fucking melon? Yes, sir. <laughs> the rub certainly doesn't work. I'm disappointed. It's underwhelming. One. <laughs> OK, young man, could you just take your glasses off for one minute? How old are you? 28. Stop. Harry Potter looks older. <laughs> Jesus, are you on a diet? It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. For yeah. you or me? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what's the dish? pan your pigeon, chef, with a uh, sweet potato puree and uh, California fig and balsamic production. You've cooked the squab beautifully. Puree is just absolutely sublime. Congratulations, four. Thank you, chef. Oh, seven plates up there. I have two, One four, pork six. and two beef. What is this? Amanda, yes, how many dishes are in front? There's seven dishes, chef. Unbelievable. You know, what the fuck is there seven up there for? Where's the extra dish coming from? Frank, you did chicken and beef? Yeah. Amanda told us she was doing beef. This is not good. What have we got? We got three beef, chef. And that's the best you can do for her. Can you just get your shit together? This is embarrassing. Everybody knew I was doing this ribeye. Let's do some math. I just want two beef dishes. Come on. Yeah. We're keeping the steak, Diane, and we'll keep that one right there. That's it. Done. Okay. Frank has a problem with me or females in general, but what am I, fucking chopped liver? Let's begin with the hot seafood appetizers. Bring them up, please. Bryce and Chef Andy will select one of the four appetizers to feature on their wedding reception menu. Thank you. First up. Ariel, let's start off with your seafood appetizer. I did a grilled piece of squid stuffed with lobster claw. Andy, what do you think visually? It's really opaque looking. Slightly phallic in terms of looks like the bison's penis. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. I didn't want to say that. Not the most attractive. It's an aphrodisiac. You didn't cook the squid enough. It's still raw, it's very chewy. Yeah, rice? Yeah. It's just kind of off-putting visually. That's not a good start. Good morning. This morning, we saw Gordon standing in front of a table with different little appetizer type thingies, and I had no clue what was going on. Slightly different this morning. Sit down. Ladies, on my left. Chef Ramsay has prepared what appears to be a high-quality gourmet buffet. What I want to talk about is taste. What the aspiring chefs don't know is that all of these dishes are fake. So I put together some fondue. Actually, it's spray-on cheese. Pate. It's really crushed hot dogs. Caviar. Mock caviar from a catfish. I just like a meat sort of bruschetta, almost like a kebab. Yeah, those are from a TV dinner. We don't deserve to be eating caviar this time of the morning. However, just taste. After such a horrible night of service, chef's presenting me with caviar. Mmm. Every time you put something in your mouth, you've got to know what you're eating. Who's tasted the fondue? I have. It's nice and thick, coats your mouth nicely, sharp, creamy. Heather. What do you think about the chicken and the pineapple? I think they taste really good. Keith. Yes, sir. Favorite dish? I like the pate, sir. Good, didn't you? I like the caviar. The stuff I've eaten before tastes like fishy, stinky. That is just amazing. Originally, I tasted the caviar just by itself, and I wasn't really that uh, fond of it. But once you get everything on there, yep. it just comes together. Uh -huh. I don't think any of you around the table this morning have any idea what you've been eating. Scott, please, don't be upset with me. You've got every right to be upset with yourselves. So, the fondue was a spray cheese. The kebabs, bruschetta, was a TV dinner. My pate was made out of crushed hot dog. And this bit here, we have a catfish, the mock fake caviar. They give it away, you can't even buy it. Here. You want to kill yourself? Take some fake caviar. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. I was taking it seriously, and then, and then he's like, ha ha, it was catfish, hot dogs, cheese in a can, and a TV dinner. Ha ha. It's embarrassing. Keith. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, 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 no. The pate tastes good. It's made out of hot dogs. Hot dogs are slamming. Now I know where we are. You all have palates like cow's backsides, and we have got some work to do. Oh, my signature dish is going to help me stand out because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops with caviar and white chocolate and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops chopped up, caviar and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. Raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. Unreal. <laughs>